As Debbie Matthews has the ball here tonight for the Twins. And Matthews, an incredible story, a guy that began his season not just in the minor leagues, but began his year in A ball pitching in Cedar Rapids. You know how fun it is for me to see Jackson Holiday leading off for the World Series contending Baltimore Orioles, a guy I used to flip wiffle balls to in the batting cage of the St. Louis Cardinals back in the day. 3 2 pitch outside for ball four. And Holiday earns the leadoff walk. Holiday scoots down to second base. It's a 3 1 put out. And Ryan O'Hearn, who homered last night, will be the batter. Well, O'Hearn is now homered three times against the Twins this season in four games. Down the left field line, Castro turning, and that will go. And a home run for Ryan O'Hearn. So he homers for the second straight night. He's smiling as he rounds third. A new career best in any one season, 15 home runs, and the Orioles strike first. It's 2 nothing Baltimore. Pitch delivered, swung on a miss, he struck him out. So a nice job by Zebby to bounce back. He gets the final out on a punch out, the first strike out of the game for the Twins. Bullpen night for the Orioles, and Matt Bowman will start things off for Baltimore here tonight. With his first major league start today. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Bowman comes right at him, retires him with a sinker. And there is the first strikeout of the game for Matt Bowman. Lee runs in the one two is strike three and Matt Bowman strikes out two as he works a scoreless inning like baseball players. The 0 2 pitch swung on a miss. He's down on strikes Good pitch from Zebby Matthews got it with a slider and there's one away now for Urias. Folks this one is center field and the Orioles pick up another 0 2 hit off Matthews. Ramona Reyes, the second Orioles hit on the game. A one out base runner for Rivera with the Orioles leading it by a 2 nothing score. Boy, did Rivera take advantage of an opportunity with Reyes out at third and Ryan Mountcastle out at first base. This guy saw playing time and made the most of it. Well, this one over the plate and unloaded to left center field towards the bullpen and gone. Long home run for Emmanuel Rivera, his third, and his 4 nothing Baltimore. Center cut, though thigh high and that's where baseballs go to die right there buddy back to back walks here for Matthews he has allowed the last four to reach after he struck out cursed it on three pitches to begin the inning two run inning for the Orioles after Rivera's homer they lead it four to nothing and you get Adley Rutschman back up to the plate and Rutschman laces it to left and that will land for a base hit and a late break from Austin Slater he will score as he runs into Matthews Holiday stopping at third it's five nothing Baltimore on an Adley Rutschman RBI single with a left wrist spring and Matthews there's the cutter you like that pitch fourth I strikeout like for Zebby ahead 0 2 Chris dead with two K's down he goes swinging it's another strikeout for Zebby Matthews and there are two quick outs for Ramon Urias the pitch Urias hits this into left field for a base hit Ramon Two for two. And here's Emmanuel Rivera. Rivera, a long home run. His last time up, and this one in the same spot in the alley, left center field, and that one is off the wall. Big bounce back into center field. Arias around third. He will score. Rivera is two for two. He's knocked in three. It is six nothing Orioles. Rutschman leads off the Orioles fourth as the Twins make a pitching change, and Louis Varlin. Born in St. Paul takes over for the Twins here in the fourth inning. As Rutschman to left center field that will slice in the alley and get down. So Rutschman on his way to second base. He's two for three tonight an opposite field double to begin the Orioles fourth. It's a blue base hit off the bat of Ryan O'Hearn. It disappeared on us as Farmer tried to make a behind the back catch. And then it must have been in and out of the mitt. But he could not corral it. So first and third with one out after a bloop base hit by Ryan O'Hearn. Here's Mountcastle. Hit hard to center. Martin with the play. He'll make the catch. Rutschman will tag and score. It is 7 0 Baltimore. Pulls this one up the middle. Urias will backhand and made a good play against a fast runner. Uh, Rias with an amazing play up the middle. Gold Glover up the middle right there, and that's why. And here is Emmanuel Rivera. Two run homer in the second, double RBI in the third. Another rocket, left center field. Rivera towards the bullpen and gone. 
Man, is he locked in tonight. Three for three, two homers. He's knocked in four, and Rivera and the Orioles are clobbering Minnesota. It is eight nothing here in the fifth. And as the ball landed in the bullpen, CNL Perez, that's a skill with the hat, something he has done many times over the years as to the collection. That will be a base hit, first and second, but just one away. This one poked to shallow right, and coming in is Santander with a sliding catch on a double play. Anthony Santander came in flying, sliding, grabbing it, and the Orioles double up. Brooks Lee at second base, and the inning ends there. Welcome back to the Emmanuel Rivera Show. Three for three, ten total bases, a career high, and also tying a season best for any Baltimore player, also done by Colton Kowser. And he looks at ball four. So another base to his credit when we think back to game number 161, in the 2024 baseball season, we'll call it the Emmanuel Rivera game. Hit hard to the right side, off the glove of Julian, and Holiday is on. Left to bat at 106, so more solid contact. Scored a base hit, second hit for Holiday. And when you're not going well, bounces off your glove, and everybody's safe, and there are two on with one out. And now a ball goes to the backstop, and there'll be two on with one out, and runners at second and third. Such a wild pitch. Adley, ground ball right side. It's gobbled up by Julian. He spins, fires to first. It's in time, but Rivera scores. More hard contact from Rutschman. And now it's 9-0 Baltimore after that RBI ground out by Adley, and Holiday gets the third base. 9-0 Orioles as CNL Perez. As Brandon Hyde told us before the game, wanted to get him an inning. And sure enough, he'll have the Twins half of the eighth inning tonight. And Lee. Misplayed by O'Hearn, he'll feed. Perez got there in Great time, job. still the out is recorded. Great so, job, still covering first anyways. Yeah, Perez did not give up, and the play made, and the Twins go down in order. Now the Twins will have a position player pitch. It is Kyle Farmer. This is tough. Oh my goodness. It's a fair ball. <laughs> That's awesome. Two down. I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun with this. Look, he's laughing too. He just hit a 40 mile an hour pitch, four inches. Boy, Slater, he was smiling. His teammates were smiling. Oh, gee. <laughs> Orioles took charge from the get go and kept adding on along the way. Some good signs for Baltimore. Jeffers sends it high and deep to left field. This one carrying, and this one is gone. And the Twins will not be shut out tonight. A two out ninth inning home run. And the first homer this month for Ryan Jeffers. No balls and two strikes on Kyle Farmer. And this one's over. And the Orioles, a 90 win team with one more left to play, beat the Twins 9 2 and go for the sweep here tomorrow.